Dear Catherine, thank you so much for all of the beautiful work you're doing. I love watching the videos of your paintings. I hope these lipsticks will work out for you. Keep doing what you're doing. It is a great mission. Love, Nicole. Whatever you do, do it with all your heart. This verse reminded me of you and your leap of faith. I pray over these that they can help you expand and reach out to represent more women and continuing your amazing work. Love, Nancy. I wanted to send you these lipsticks in honor of Casey Mueller. I know you will put them to good work. Catherine, my wife Carrie, CJ as we called her, passed away from breast cancer in June. I was clearing out her things and found these and can think of no better use than you creating art with them. Ron. Lipstick is whatever you want it to be. I mean, in my sense, it's, it's something that I can create art with. And for someone else, it could be something that makes them feel beautiful. Maybe it's a form of, of self-expression for someone who never felt comfortable expressing themselves in the past. Uh, that's what I love about lipstick is that it's so versatile. It has so many unique uses. Everyone's different and for me, I'm just happy to make art out of it. Hi, my name is Katherine Mason, a lipstick painter from Houston, Texas. I started my lipstick series back in 2016. I was at a point in my career where I really wanted to challenge myself and work with a new medium. And unfortunately, we had a very good family friend who was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. I decided I wanted to focus on breast cancer as the subject matter for my work and I wanted it to have a charitable aspect behind it in raising money to donate back to a breast cancer organization. Speaking with this family friend of ours, I wanted to kind of get an inside scoop of what it is like to have breast cancer and what are the struggles and what are the challenges. And in my mind, you know, the initial diagnosis is the scariest part. And what she had revealed to me was the diagnosis wasn't very hard. It was all of the physical side effects of chemo and radiation that she was struggling with. She had mentioned that obviously your hair falls out, but there are a lot of other physical side effects the doctors did not tell her about. And she was really struggling to feel beautiful. She was struggling to feel confident and feel like herself in her own skin. And I loved the idea that she had mentioned to me that she was starting to put on lipstick before her chemo treatments as a way to kind of regain power over her situation and make herself feel like a woman again, make herself feel beautiful and powerful. And her doctor had mentioned to her that it was actually having a great reaction with her treatment and her body was responding really well because she felt more positive and felt more beautiful in her skin. And I thought it was so interesting that something as small as a tube of lipstick could make such a big difference in her hardest days. And so from then on, I decided I wanted to build this series for women who are battling breast cancer, and I wanted to create all of my paintings out of donated lipstick. Most people will donate their lipstick to me in honor or in memory of friends or family members who have battled breast cancer and who have gone through that terrible disease. A lot of people will also gather lipstick from friends and family members who unfortunately lost their life to breast cancer. And it has been the greatest privilege of my life to take these lipsticks that belong to these amazing women and to utilize them and create my artwork from them in hopes to raise more money um, for breast cancer. One of the things that my family friend had mentioned to me was she was really struggling with the way that her her breasts looked and the way that her scars looked and she didn't feel beautiful um, about her body anymore. And I made it a, a priority for me while I'm working on my paintings of the female form to focus on other parts of the woman's body that I think are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I try not to focus on breast as much even though that is the main part of breast cancer. But I want women to know that there's other parts of their body that are beautiful and that are strong and feminine, um, whether it's your wrist or your shoulder or your neckline. Um, I try to focus my efforts on, on really bringing those parts of a woman's body forward and showing the beauty in them. I've always been into art, always been an artist. My mom always laughs because um, 
I used to steal her lipstick and paint on the walls with it. And I used to get in trouble for it. And she said, oh, look at you now, making a living doing it. Lipstick has been a very challenging medium for me to work with. I've had lots of ups and downs, lots of learning curves. And I've found that each brand of lipstick that is donated to me is very different. Over the years, I've created techniques and, and tricks and tips that have helped me throughout my creative process, but it has been an ongoing exploration. I thought lipstick was a really interesting product because artistically, it's very similar to an oil pastel or a crayon. And so I, I got some lipsticks that I had left over in my drawer and I just started practicing. One of my favorite things about my lipstick series is that each painting takes a village to complete. Not only am I associated with the work as the artist creating it, but all of the lipsticks that I use are coming from women, are coming from these families that are donating these lipsticks to me. Each piece has about 75 to 80 different people behind it supporting me through my work. I sell my lipstick series, my prints, as well as my originals to raise money for a wonderful organization based in Houston called The Rose. The Rose started in Houston and it is a breast cancer organization that focuses on helping uninsured women receive proper screening and treatment options for breast cancer. As a woman of faith, I've always believed that it has been God's purpose for my life for me to create artwork for other people. It has also been a huge driving force in my lipstick series, not only to help raise awareness of breast cancer for people who don't have breast cancer, but more importantly to shed light on so many women who are battling for their life and who are in their darkest days and who are struggling. It is very important to me to be able to represent those women through my work, to be able to show them how beautiful they are, how confident and resilient they are, and how amazing of women they are at being able to go through what they've been through. And I just want to remind them that they're incredible and I want to shed light on their beautiful stories. I am happy to continue painting as long as we can continue to serve others through my work. And at the end of the day, breast cancer never stops. And these women are constantly battling and I feel privileged to be able to use my work to help them.